Howdy everyone. Welcome to another episode of Big Fish Synergy. Oh man, lame as always. But what's not lame is the bait that I'm talking about today. And uh, for all you topwater fanatics, this is the uh, creme de la creme, oh! the king daddy of them all. God! The mega bass, mega dog. And uh, this is mega bass's biggest topwater offering. And let me tell you something, it absolutely rules. If you're a fan of big walking topwater baits, uh, if you are a big lunker punker guy, um, you know, they kind of changed the game with the whole thing with, and, and trust me, I have boxes of lunker punkers. But um, I believe that this is, if you're not gonna go custom, this is the best big walking topwater bait on the market. And um, there's a few reasons why. And we're gonna get into all of that in the video. And I'm gonna show you one catch with a really awesome Northeast big largemouth. And uh, hopefully you guys are ex as excited about that as I am because it was an unbelievable moment and it made the fall for me. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, yeah, so as I mentioned, uh, the Mega Bass Mega Dog, this is in their, one of their trout patterns. I forget the exact pattern. Uh, it's 220 millimeters. Let me turn this around. 220 millimeters, you can see it. Um, it's super lifelike. It has an incredible walk. And let me just talk about why this thing, I think this thing is so effective and why it's such a deadly uh, walking top water bait. First of all, it walks super easy. I mean, you can see it in the, uh, I'll do a, a walk demo if, the, if it's not too choppy here. But it doesn't take much to walk this thing. Uh, it casts like a bullet. It's got a great weight system in it. Uh, as you can see, there's, I think there's three balls in the back, one in the front, really good balance. Uh. Um, and yeah, uh, the stock hardware is incredible too. You got double split rings on every single hook, which, gives it a little more hang and it allows it to rotate a little bit more freely. And obviously, if you guys are fishing big swim baits, you know that if you put on two different split rings, you get, uh, or two split rings on each hook eye, um, you get more of a rotation and less of a chance for them to throw the bait. But what they did that's really incredible here, aside from having these, like, these have to be three X hooks. I mean, you could probably take down, you could take down some striper with these, I'd say, before they bend out. Uh, definitely great for largemouth. Nice kind of uh, round bend hooks, but probably around 3x. And I'd say they're like 2 aughts. I, I would assume the, these are 2 aughts. But what is really ingenious is that every single, uh, you know, every hook guy is a rotating hook hanger back here. So you have three rotating hook, oh my God, you see how sharp that is? You have three rotating hook hangers. So it's really, uh, nearly impossible for, if you get a decent uh, uh, hook in them, the fish can't really leverage the bait uh, against you. So you have that added security. Like that, that's not apparent on a, or that's not uh, available on a lunker punker. Um, Phony, Phony has a big walking top water too, and it's like a lunker punker, but it has those uh, rotating hook hangers. So he definitely made that, that uh, upgrade. I mean, look, Am I gonna tell you that you're gonna lose more fish like that? I don't know. It's possible. Um, I've caught plenty of fish on a lunker, a punker, and I've never had one come off. But I'm telling you, the rotating hook hangers for me, it's just added security. And uh, I throw this on a decoy uh, egg snap, actually. This is the largest egg, uh, egg snap. I believe that's a size five. And as you can see, I'm tying a, uh, a double uni knot with six wraps there and I go braid to leader. And this is actually 35 pound Sunline FC100 fluoro shock leader, but it it has that stretchiness like mono. So uh, it's not gonna weight, weight the bait down. You still are gonna get a really nice walk. And most of the line is braid anyway. I'll throw it like anywhere from a four foot to an eight, maybe even a 10 foot leader. I just will go right outside the reel 
right here uh, to where my connection knot is. Obviously it's a shorter leader right now, but here's something that's interesting. I actually fished this on a low down custom extra, extra heavy, which is rated six to 15 ounces. This is only four ounces, but I personally really like to have the added security and a stouter rod when I fish these big walking topwater baits because I don't really even have to set the hook. I just kind of let the, the fish eat it and reel down and that's it. And then we're off and, and, and that's it. And obviously I'm fishing this on a Calcutta Conquest 400 Shimano. That's my favorite reel of all time probably. This is the 18 model, 18 and 19. They might be coming out with a new 400 this year. It's 2021 right now, uh, the end of 2021, I don't know. But that's 80 pound Max Quattro braid. And like I said, again, if you can find a low down custom, custom rod, snatch it up as quickly as you can. Aww. This is one of the parabolic versions. Um, I have uh, extra heavy uh, or extra, extra heavy, uh, moderate fast as well. They're both phenomenal and I've thrown treble and uh, uh, treble and uh, soft baits on both. So uh, yeah. That's, uh, that's pretty much the story there. And uh, now let's get into an actual fish catch. So you can see this thing in action and you can see it working in late November in New Jersey when it's actually cold out, which is the best time to throw these baits in my opinion. Awesome. Fishing the big, the big old uh, Mega Bass Mega Dog, the nine-inch walking bait. God, I really want to get bit on this thing. I've been fishing this thing hard all summer, and uh, have nothing to show for it. But here's the thing: I believe in the bait. I think the right fish hasn't been in its presence yet, and if it was. I'd be, I'd be hooked up. Fishing this actually on a, I don't need to be, but I'm fishing this on a low down custom, extra, extra heavy. Man, that guy was annoying, huh? Yeah, the whole park. Why are you here? Like, just find another spot, dude. Here we are. That's what I was looking for, everyone. <laughs> Stay down. Is that a pick? Might be a pickle. <laughs> no, it's a big largemouth. That's what I was looking for. Yes! Dude, I knew it. I knew it. That's a five, that's a mid five, maybe a six. Oh, that's so awesome. God, I had such a feeling. I had such a feeling with this bait. God, that's awesome. Man, look at that hookup. How am I even gonna get him here? God, that was a fight and a half, too. Oh, man. He is buttoned.
Tu es tueur, tueur, tueur. Ah, oh, this is a mess. Guys, finally got a really great fish on the uh, on the Mega Dog. This is a this is a monster fish. This thing is probably gonna go uh, probably probably five and a half. Look at that, he he nailed it. Uh, he's buttoned up. Got a couple of hooks out, but we're gonna get a uh, a weight and a release and get this thing on its way. Wow, five pounds on the dot. Get one more weight. Five oh two. That's more accurate. I think that's over five, honestly. There he goes. See you, buddy. Look at that beauty. Wow. Oh, God. Oh, oh God. Oh. Guys, let me just show you what the walk looks like on this thing. Check this out. So it's kind of like a pull. There we go, see that? You can really get it to glide super far and make a huge disturbance. I like the pop pop, one of those guys, and then kill it, and then another wide glide, and so on and so on. Just kind of killing it, and listen to that knock in there, you can hear it. Really, really looks good. So that's how I like to fish that. All right, everyone. Thanks so much for tuning into this episode. Um, again, if you don't believe in these things, I get it. They're a big daunting bait, but if you're serious into swim baiting, why not strap one on and take a shot? Uh. I cannot tell you how many days I put this on and threw it and got skunked, but I had a feeling and I and I just trusted in the bait and I knew I was confident that this thing could get the job done because I, I believe in mega bass. These guys do their research, their their attention to detail is ridiculous, and I tested it out. I know pretty much right off the bat on the first day of taking a bait out whether or not it's gonna do work for me. I mean I also believe that I think you can get any bait to do work for you if you put in enough time and and practice but this is one that I always had confidence in the conditions were right and I fished it and um, and I finally I finally struck gold with this thing and uh, and got a, a really beautiful uh, upper class like kind of uh, upper, upper tier New Jersey largemouth to take a shot at this thing so here's the deal if you like this type of content please remember to hit that notification bell like subscribe leave me a comment i'll always reply back i love talking fishing it's, uh you know it's my lifelong pastime aside from my uh my career in the uh or, you know lets me kind of uh unwind from my hectic career in the music industry and i've been doing this since i was a little kid and chasing big bass so uh i'm, I'm here learning with you guys and and taking new info and applying it out on the water. So if you want uh, want to join on that journey and uh, follow along, I'd love to have you. But anyways, get out there. Remember, one cast, one bite, one big fish. Stick a few giants before the end of the year. Let's do it. Peace.